So through my whole coaching career, I have talked to quite a handful of people. And most of the time, whenever I ask these people what they want from life, they're like, oh, I'd love to live a life with a type of freedom that you have. And it always makes me smile because usually when I'm calling with them, I'm in some type of <laughs> country somewhere in the world um, on a beach or doing whatever. And you know, that's the image of what people usually have of what freedom is and can't blame them, right? It's, it's awesome, I love my life and I do feel very free. And in this video, I actually wanna talk about what freedom actually is, because you might still have the idea that freedom is walking on the beach in the sun, drinking mojito and like just enjoying life. And from a certain perspective, that is what freedom is. And, and maybe for you, it's a different image. Maybe for you, it's something else that's not travel related. However, I wanna share my view and perspective on that which we call freedom. Now, whenever I ask someone what freedom means to them, I, I often get an answer along the lines of, freedom to me is being able to do whatever I want whenever I wanna do it. And what's interesting is that I absolutely agree with that definition. And there's, there's a lot of definitions of, of freedom. However, what most people focus on when they look at this definition of freedom, being able to do whatever you want to do, whenever you want to do it, from the first perspective, being able to do whatever I want to do, whenever I want to do it, it's interesting because the focus is on the whatever and the whenever. That's what people see as the freedom. It's being able to do whatever you want, whenever you want to do it. And I want to put a nuance in there because Yes, from a certain perspective, that's what it is. However, it is not always because let me share with you a different perspective. How I see freedom is let's stick to the same definition, but put the nuance somewhere else. The ability to do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it. See the difference in that. And most people really put the focus on the whatever and the whenever, but I like to put the focus on the I. That's where for me, the true freedom comes from. It's being able to do what I want to do whenever I want to do it. Being able to live my most authentic life, being able to do the things that are close to me, that are important to me, that to me is freedom. And that's why freedom isn't one thing. It's not a one whatever and one whenever, because if that would have been the definition of it, then everyone would be doing the same thing if they lived a life of freedom. And that's not the case. For some people, a life of freedom is walking on that beach in Portugal, drinking that mojito. For other people, it is to sit in the forest and, and make a painting. For other people, it is standing in front of a crowd and juggling six balls. You know, it's freedom is, 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 is very personal. However, to figure out what it actually is, you gotta be close to yourself. What, what does my freedom mean? If I could do whatever I wanna do, whenever I wanna do it, what would I wanna do? Because it's one thing to have a certain lifestyle where if everyone says, oh, it would be so cool if you go to Portugal to then go to Portugal, but is that actually your freedom? Is that actually what you want to do? It's, it's probably not. And that's why most people feel like they're not free because they're doing a lot of things that they don't want to do. And the moment that I started to do what I want to do whenever I wanted to do it, that's when I started to feel more free. And yes, to me, that came into the box of traveling and, and coaching people and, and, and learning about all this spiritual stuff. And, but for you, that may be completely different as long as it's around what you want to do, how you want to express yourself, how you want to live your life. What is it that you want to do? And most people have this dream of traveling. They have this idea of, oh, if I have freedom, that means I have all the money I need. That, that, that means I'll be in Bali somewhere. I'll be, I'll be having the right people around me, all of that, which is great. However, I'm willing to challenge you on this one and say that that's not, probably not your actual idea of a free life. And so I'm inviting you in this video to, to ponder upon what is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to do? If you could do whatever and whenever, what is it that you want to do? For me, this came from, from Bob Proctor. I was, uh, I was studying and I was in my first year of psychology at the University of Amsterdam. And I lived in Amsterdam at the time. And he asked me the very simple question. If you had all the money in the world, all the time in the world, and you had no fear, what would you do? And um, my answer wasn't studying in psychology in Amsterdam. Uh, I remember looking outside and it was raining and I was like, fuck this, I know. And, um, and I wrote down my answer, it was to travel. Now this might seem very easy, but uh, so I quit my studies and I started to travel. And obviously this was a period of, of months that, that I went through and, and very much releasing and, and gaining the confidence to do just that. But it was also very freeing. It was amazing to do this. It felt effortless. 
even though it felt like a hard decision because you know i had to talk to my parents and say i wasn't going to continue studying i had to leave my roommates and my friends who i had in amsterdam um i basically sort of said goodbye to my old life and had to step into this new life and i'm so incredibly grateful that i did that and so i'm i'm here by inviting you to ask yourself the same question if you had all the money in the world all the time in the world and you weren't afraid what would you do and write it down or, or, or do something with this answer because that's your authentic you that's the way that you want to express yourself with everything in life i i would recommend you or i would like to give you a perspective that you can use to come from from here from the i what do i want from the authentic best way that you feel like you can express yourself in the world and and it's difficult it's difficult because we've been taught to to adjust ourselves you know it's like if if six people around you say they want to go left well, it's very difficult for us to then be like, oh, but I want to go right. And then to actually go right too. And some people have this in their personality, but most of us, we've been taught to then neglect what we want and go with the group and then teach ourselves that actually that's what we wanted when in fact it's not. And this stems back all the way from like prehistoric times when we were living in tribes. And if you were kicked out of the tribe, that basically meant that you were going to die because you wouldn't survive on your own in a jungle. You'd be eaten, you'd, you'd starve. And, and so whenever we were part of this tribe, we wanted to fit in. And so we adjusted our needs and the things that we thought we wanted to that of the group. Because if one person in the group didn't like us, if, or if there was some kind of conflict, conflict of interest in the group, we would just be kicked out and we would be alone. And, and lonely is scary, uh, but it also meant death. And so, um, and so we're, we're very careful with this and we're still programmed this way. However, we're not living in prehistoric times anymore doing your own thing doesn't mean that you'll be lonely because there's a lot of people and a lot of ways to connect with the right people. You can find them everywhere. And so your values are going to align with someone else. And also it doesn't mean death anymore because of the way that life is right now. And so this whole process of striving towards a life of freedom and taking the action steps required to get there is very much about being willing and daring to be your most true self, be your most authentic self. And, and live life that way. And yes, it might bring up that fear of loneliness and it might bring up that fear of, I mean, not consciously, but but death, you know, in your nervous system, you'll feel it. And to be able to, to just lean into that and to slowly move yourself into that direction of a more free life. But first it's about creating that clarity. On what is it that I want? In what way have I been adjusting myself? In what way have I been so-called people pleasing? And um, and to become conscious of that and, and you can still go on and do it. But it's very much about becoming conscious of that and then taking the right steps required to um, to pursue that life of freedom. Now, there's this other definition that I have of freedom, and this is related to, to truly being yourself. I remember the first time I went uh, traveling, I, I, I made a trip. Oh, it wasn't actually the first time. I remember sometime I went traveling. I, I went to Asia and I was traveling through Cambodia. And I remember that I felt very free at the time because I could be exactly who I wanted to be. And it's actually a funny story. I was in a hostel in uh, Cambodia and I, I didn't know anyone there. I, it was the only hostel on the island and I, I didn't know any people who were there. I could completely be whoever I wanted to be. And, and so I had conversations with people who were there and with some of them, I told them I was a biology student and others I told them I was working as a full-time magician. And with others, I, I told them I was a coach and and I just it was funny to me because I was the only one who knew that some of these stories weren't true, but it didn't matter. People people didn't mind. People didn't know. And, and I could literally be whoever I wanted. And the interesting thing was they didn't care what story I gave them because they still liked me. It didn't matter the story. And this to me was a very freeing experience because I could I could totally be myself. I was totally accepted for any story that I could come up with. Like as ridiculous as being a magician was for me at the time, I was still accepted. People still liked me if I shared that story. So I was like, hey, I can just be a spiritual life coach here and, and people won't laugh at me. Um, I, I'm fine. I'm accepted. People still like it. Um, or at least if they don't, that doesn't hurt me. And that moment to me made me realize what freedom actually was for me. It was my ability to be myself. 
my ability to authentically be myself, that gave me so much freedom. And that's why people love traveling so much. And the idea of that type of freedom and, and why people love being on holidays is because they get to let go of all the preconceived beliefs that other people have about them when they're back home. They don't need to fit into this box that they've put themselves into. Because let's be honest, in your in your current environment, you have the roles that you play, you have the labels, you have the way that you show up, you have the way that you relate to others. And people expect that from you as well. And you feel that they expect that from you. And so you'll stay into this, into this dance of, oh, this is who I am, this is who I am. The moment that you take yourself out of that, you get to be anything that you want. You get to be a magician, you get to be a biology student, you get to be a spiritual life coach, you get to be whoever you want. And you'll be liked for it because it's just people don't know any better. And to me, that's very closely related to the definition of freedom for me. The ability to be yourself, to truly, authentically be yourself. And it's great. <laughs> but what I've learned is that you know, don't need to travel for that. You just get to be who you want to be today if you're willing to show up that way. And that is scary because you'll be... Um... I'm not sure if it's triggering people, but you'll be, you'll be surprising people. You'll be surprising people. Because if you sudden, if you've always shown up the way you've shown up and suddenly you say no more and you start to show up for who you truly are, people are going to be confused. People are going to be like, hey, this is not you. Are you okay? Because they've always seen that other part of you and they know that other part of you. However, you know from deep down who you truly are. And, and so this is really a journey and th this doesn't go like oh, okay one day i wake up and now i'm just going to be myself no not really the best way to do this or there's no best way to do this but the way i did this is is to take it step by step to slowly introduce that version of me um and yeah you can do it radically you could literally do that if you choose to i thought that was super scary and so i didn't but please do if you feel attracted to that the way i did it was more slowly and it, it took me some time and i still feel like I'm holding back on certain things around certain people because I'm just afraid that they'll laugh at me or I'm afraid that they won't accept me. And that's all fine. Like I'm human and I get to live this experience. However, I am in the process of becoming more and more conscious of when I'm doing this because I love my freedom. And the moments where I get to be myself, truly, I feel very free and I love that feeling. That's something I am expanding into and it's powerful to me. And I'd love to give that to you as well. So thank you for watching this video. I, I honestly suggest you um, go back on those questions and answer them for yourself, especially the second one I asked. And also to start implementing this knowledge and doing something with the things I've said, because I bet that something I've said has sparked something within you, a, a, a way in which you feel like you haven't been truly yourself around certain types of people. And to start being that way a little bit more every single day, because you'll start to see that you'll get yourself closer to that feeling of freedom. And you don't need to travel to Bali and drink a mojito to be the version of yourself that you want to be. Because you just get to be that. And um, try it out for yourself. If this is something that you feel like you're struggling with and that you would like help with to do the process faster, to have more clarity on this, or to just gain the confidence to step into your power and be your authentic self, let's spend some time together. I'm inviting you to reach out to me on either Instagram, Migritjes underscore, or on LinkedIn, Migritjes, and to send me a DM. Let's plan a coaching session. It's completely free. I want to give that to you as a gift. Let me know that you've watched this video and we'll sit down together and you'll walk away with more clarity and confidence on what it means for you to truly be authentic to yourself.